This is a LibriVox.org recording by Tim Sherman Chase. This recording is in the public domain. Thus Spake Zarathustra by Friedrich Nietzsche. Translated by Thomas Common. Part 3, Chapter 58. The Great Longing. O oh, my soul, I have taught thee to say today as once on a time and formerly and to dance thy measure over every here and there and yonder. O oh, my soul, I delivered thee from all by-places, I brushed down from thee dust and spiders and twilight. O oh, my soul, I washed the petty shame and the by-place virtue from thee, and persuaded thee to stand naked before the eyes of the sun. With the storm that is called spirit, did I blow over thy surging sea? All clouds did I blow away from it. I strangled even the strangler called sin. O oh, my soul, I gave thee the right to say nay like the storm, and to say yea as the open heaven saith yea. Calm as the light remainest thou, and thou walkest through denying storms. O oh, my soul, I restore to thee liberty over the created and the uncreated, and who knoweth, as thou knowest, the voluptuousness of the future? O oh, my soul, I taught thee the contempt which doth not come like worm-eating, the great, the loving contempt, which loveth most when it contempteth most. O oh, my soul, I taught thee so to persuade that thou persuadeth even the grounds themselves to thee like the sun, which persuadeth even the sea to its height. O my soul, I have taken from thee all obeying and knee-bending and homage-paying. I have myself given thee the names, change of need, and fate. O my soul, I have given thee new names and gay-coloured playthings. I have called thee fate, and the circuit of circuits, and the navel string of time, and the azure bell. O my soul, to thy domain gave I all wisdom to drink, all new wines, and also all immemorially old strong wines of wisdom. O my soul, every sun shed I upon thee, and every night and every silence and every longing, then grewest thou up for me as a vine. O my soul, exuberant and heavy dost thou now stand forth, a vine with swelling udders, and full clusters of brown golden grapes, filled and weighed by thy happiness, waiting for superabundance, and yet ashamed of thy waiting. O my soul, there is nowhere a soul which could be more loving and more comprehensive and more extensive. Where could future and past be closer together than with thee? O my soul, I have given thee everything, and all my hands have become empty by thee, and now, now sayest thou to me, smiling and full of melancholy, which of us oweth thanks? Doth the giver not owe thanks because the receiver received? Is bestowing not a necessity? Is receiving not pitying? O oh my soul, I understand the smiling of thy melancholy. Thy overabundance itself now stretches out longing hands. Thy fullness looketh forth over raging seas, and seeketh and waiteth. The longing of overfulness looketh forth from the smiling heaven of thine eyes. And verily, O oh my soul, who could see thy smiling and not melt into tears? The angels themselves melt into tears through the over-graciousness of thy smiling. Thy graciousness and over-graciousness is it which will not complain and weep? And yet, O oh my soul, longeth thy smiling for tears, and thy trembling mouth for sobs. Is not all weeping complaining, and all complaining accusing? Thus spakest thou to thyself, and therefore, O oh my soul, wilt thou rather smile than pour forth thy grief? 
Then in gushing tears pour forth all thy grief concerning thy fullness, and concerning the craving of the vine for the vintager and the vintage knife. But wilt thou not weep? Wilt thou not weep forth thy purple melancholy? Then wilt thou have to sing, O my soul! Behold, I smile myself, who foretell thee this. Thou wilt have to sing with passionate song, until all seas turn calm into hearkening unto thy longing. Until over calm longing seas the bark glideth, the golden marvel, around the gold of which all good, bad, and marvellous things frisk. Also many large and small animals, and everything that hath light marvellous feet, so that it can run on violet-blue paths. Towards the golden marvel, the spontaneous bark, and its master, he, however, is the vintager who waiteth with the diamond vintage knife, thy great deliverer, O my soul, the nameless one, for whom the future songs only will find names, and verily, already hath thy breath the fragrance of future songs, already glowest thou and dreamest, already drinkest thou thirstily at all deep echoing wells of consolation, already reposeth thy melancholy at the bliss of future songs. O my soul, now have I given thee all, and even my last possession, and all my hands have become empty by thee, that I bade thee sing. Behold, that was my last thing to give, that I bade thee sing. Say now, say, which of us now oweth thanks? Better still, however, Sing unto me, sing, O my soul, and let me thank thee. Thus spake Zarathustra. End of part three, chapter fifty eight. The Great Longing.